Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss a very important topic of mathematical physics. And I hope that all the points I am going to cover in today's video will be helpful for all of you and will help you to understand this topic very well. Guys, all the points are going to be very important. So keep on watching this video till the end. Also, if your friends are preparing for the upcoming CSI or Net Physics exam or Gate Physics exam or any other Physics PhD entrance exam, you can share this video with them as well. Now, let's just start the discussion. So, first of all, we are going to talk about the different types of matrices. Basically, these are the basic points, but they should also be clear to us. Clear? So first point is row matrix. The first type of matrix we are going to consider is row matrix. Now guys, row matrix is a matrix which will only have one row and the number of columns can be any number of columns. Like you can see, I have mentioned one example here and in which we are having one, three and two. In the row, they are present. Okay, row is only one and number of columns are three. Okay, so this type of matrix is known as row matrix. I hope you all know about that. Now, next is column matrix in which the number of columns will be just one. Okay, so number of column is equal to one. But number of rows can be any number of rows. Two, three, four, five, hundred and any number of ro rows. But the number of columns should be only one. And then we will call it column matrix. Next is going to be null or zero matrix. Clear? Null or zero matrix is a matrix in which all the elements will be equal to zero as you can see the example as well. Now, next is square matrix in which number of rows and number of columns will be equal. That means two rows and two columns, three rows and three columns. So when number of rows and columns are equal in a particular matrix given to you, you can say that that is a square matrix. Next, diagonal matrix. Diagonal matrix is a matrix in which the non-diagonal elements will be zero. All the non-diagonal elements which are, which are not present in the principal diagonal mainly. Clear? So here principal diagonal is a diagonal which starts from the first element of the given matrix. Okay. So you can see 2, 7 and 5. So this type of diagonal is known as principal diagonal which will be non-zero and non-diagonal elements will be zero okay and we are only talking about those elements which are non-zero which are present on the principal diagonal okay and the principal diagonal is a diagonal which i have shown here that is 275 as they are present okay next guys next type of matrix is scalar matrix scalar matrix is a matrix in which we are having all the non-diagonal that means again except principal diagonal all other elements will be equal to zero and guys you can also call it like a kind of diagonal matrix okay firstly it is diagonal and after that we are putting one more condition we are applying one more condition on it that is that all the principal diagonal elements should be same so like if there are three so all will be three 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 you can see in the first example second one i have written as five 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 all the principal diagonal elements are are equal to 5. In the third example I have shown in general with k. Okay so this kind of matrix is known as a scalar matrix which is also a diagonal matrix. Then next if you are going to talk about the next type of matrix that is going to be unit or identity matrix. Unit or identity matrix is a matrix again it is a diagonal matrix in which principal diagonal elements will be non-zero while all other elements except the principal diagonal element elements will be zero all other elements clear now as you can see example i have shown as well as the principal diagonal elements will be equal to one in this case okay so this type of matrix is known as the unit or identity matrix and its determinant will be equal to one clear so that is also a condition corresponding to this type of matrix now next is symmetric matrix if we are going to talk about symmetric matrix symmetric matrix is a matrix in which if you are going to convert or you are just considering that the elements which are present in a row if you are going to consider them as a column okay the first row as first column second row as second column third row as third column okay or you can say that in this way even you can write or 
uh, the elements which you are getting like you can see I have shown it here that Aij should be equal to Aji where I is representing the number of row and J is representing the number of column clear so if we are talking about first row and second column so I will write A12 first row and second column so I in place of I we will write the row number okay and in place of J we will write the column number so we will write A12 first row second column so that should be equal to A21 A12 should be equal to A21 that means the element which is present at the second row and first column clear also guys in this case as you can see the example I have shown you okay if this is gonna satisfy all the condition which we have discussed for the symmetric matrix clear now next thing if we are going to talk about skew symmetric matrix so in this case the condition which will get satisfied will be a i j should be equal to minus a j i so if you are going to write its uh, transpose okay like you can see I have made the row into column but it is not exactly same what is the difference the negative sign okay so you can see that a i j if you are talking about the a 1 2 element okay first row and second column element which is 1 in this case then a 2 1 element which means second row and first column element that is minus 1 so a i j should be equal to minus a j i clear so that is the main condition corresponding to the skew symmetric matrix which should be clear to all of you and in this case again we have mentioned that all diagonal elements that means principal diagonal elements which are zero in this case okay now next thing triangular matrix so guys triangular matrix is a matrix in which we are just going to get you can say like we are getting triangle and though the triangle which we are getting either related with zeros or related with the non-zero values so you can say that below the principal diagonal if all the elements are zero below principal diagonal that is one four six are present in this case in the principal diagonal so below principal diagonal if all the elements are zero and they are forming a triangle okay so in this case we call it upper triangular matrix because zeros we are not considering we are focusing on the non-zero elements which are 1 2 3 4 5 6 in the first example which is for upper triangular matrix so you can say that with the non-zero values the triangle we are going to make is present in the upside okay of the principal diagonal so it is known as upper triangular matrix with name it should be clear to all of you because sometimes in the question they can just mention the name of the matrix and you have to consider it on your own next thing guys if we are going to talk about the lower triangular matrix again with the non-zero values the triangle you will be able to form below principal diagonal okay and in this case all the elements above principal diagonal will be equal to zero as you can see in the second example which is corresponding to lower triangular matrix okay next transpose of a matrix if you are going to talk about the transpose of a matrix in this case what we do generally to find the transpose we change or we convert the row into column okay so if any matrix is given to you you just need to interchange the rows into columns okay or vice versa so that's how you will be able to get the transpose of any matrix example i have shown here in this way you just need to do it clear next guys next is orthogonal matrix orthogonal matrix is a matrix if you are going to take the product of that matrix with its transpose okay you will get it equal to identity matrix so that kind of matrix is known as the orthogonal matrix if you are taking the product of any given matrix with its transpose matrix and we are getting it equal to identity matrix we will say that that particular matrix is orthogonal matrix and if the determinant of that matrix is equal to zero then we can say that matrix is proper proper matrix clear so if determinant of a is one then we can say that matrix is proper matrix next guys if we are going to talk about the conjugate of a matrix so what is going to be the conjugate of a matrix that is if any matrix a is given to us you can see the a is having the elements in the first row as i plus 2 and the next element is 5 okay then in second row it's 3i plus 5 and the next column element is in the same row that is 5 plus 2i if you will change i interchange i with minus i clear everywhere 
so or even if it will be minus i given to you write it play in place of minus i write i iota clear so this is how we are if we are going to interchange iota into or replace iota by minus iota and minus iota by iota if iota is given change it by minus iota if minus iota is given change it by iota so that's how the new matrix which you will get will be known as the conjugate of a matrix okay so guys these were some of the different types of matrices now in our upcoming next video i'm going to discuss some more points and that is going to be in continuation of this video okay so which will surely be helpful for all of you like you can see the basics which we are discussing and that video will be exactly in continuation of this video so don't miss it and you will get to know about many important points in this way okay and all the other videos which i will provide you on this channel that is mission net physics exam will surely be helpful for you so this was just the basic part okay and very basic part i think even you have prepared all these points in the 11th 12th standard as well but don't worry soon then in the next video the points which we will discuss will surely be helpful for you and you will be able to understand all these points very easily okay so thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end and don't miss the upcoming videos because they are going to be very important for your exam now guys if i am going to talk about one more thing that is an academy plus subscription so if you want to prepare very well for your upcoming csr net physics exam you can even take an academy plus subscription for that because after taking the an academy plus subscription you will be able to attend the live classes by all the top educators we are having on an academy plus for your upcoming exam preparation also guys you will get so many benefits after taking the an academy plus subscription along with all these benefits when you are taking the subscription if you will use the referral code that is anjali arora you just need to write all the words together don't leave even a single space in between write them together apply and get the 10% discount in the total an academy plus subscription amount okay and wherever you will take the an academy plus subscription you will be able to attend the live classes by all the top educators we are having on an academy plus for your upcoming exam preparation along with this guys you will also be able to uh, just uh, get many benefits like weekly quizzes doubt clearing sessions pdf of important notes mock test okay recordings of the live classes will also be available to you so i hope that all these things will surely help you in doing the best preparation for your upcoming exam in the remaining days before the exam so thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you